Hi everyone, welcome to my Casual FX115 ES calculator tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like the tutorial, make sure to share and subscribe. Feel free to comment below and let me know type of tutorial that you are interested to learn more. Today, I'd like to share with you about solving three linear equations with three unknown, which is x, y, z, using the calculator. The typical linear equations are shown here. Here we have a three equation a1x, b1y, c1z equal to d1. Apply for second and third equation. Here the a, b, c, and d are the known constant number that we can enter into the calculator later for the first equation. And x, y, z are the three unknown that we like to solve. And this applies the same for the second and third equation. So now let's try to get to the function from the calculator. In order to reach the function, first select the mode. Here you see the number 5, which is an EQN equation. Select that. And here you will see the four different of uh, equation can be solved. The first one which is only and so for x and y that we have talked about on my previous tutorial. And the second one is one that we will be talking about today, which is uh, x, y, z. And the third one is a quadratic, and the fourth is a cubic equations. So let's select the second one, which is the one that we wanted to solve today. And here you can see that there's uh, row number one, row number two, and row number three. And each of the row, there's a column A, B, and C. And this represent the constant in the linear equations. So for example, you have a, a constant 1, 2, 3 for A, B, C, C, and D, and D, let's say 4. And this will be your first equation. And then for a second, if you have like a 6, 7, 8, 9, so this is your second equation, and the third equation like 9, 8, 10, 11. So this is uh, all the input to the equation. If you wanted to make a changes to any of the number in the column of the row, you just uh, move the cursor up and down, and this is only allowed when you finish enter all the constant. Once you have everything entered, just click equal sign, and it will solve for you x, and then equal again y, and the third time z. Let's do an example here. In order to go back, just press mode, and then number 5, and here again select number 2. So here we have uh, the first, lin first linear equation, 2x plus 5y plus 3z equal 2. So for first equation, we put the a as a 2, and then phi as a b, and then c as a 3, and the d is a 2. And we go on to the second equation, which is 3x plus 4y plus 5z equal to 6. So here 3, and then b is a 4, and c is a 5, and B, oh, here you can see that we have for infinite solution because I did not finish entering everything. So sometimes you can happen, so no worry. Just go back, and here you come back again to the equation. Here I already enter number row number one, and then go back to row number two, and then just use the cursor move left and right. And first, the second equation A is a three, and then a four for the B and c is a 5, and 6 is a d, okay, continue on. So number 3, which is uh, equation, the third equation is a 5x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 5, so in this case that uh, a equals to 5, b equals to 2, c equals to 3, and d equal to 5, okay, and click equal again. 
give it a couple of seconds and here you've got x equal to 5 over 15 if you need to know what is the decimal just click the, this button x back and forth d and it'll give you the decimal number and then go back to fraction so how about y y is a minus 9 over 14 the decimal is a minus 0 0.64 going back to fraction 9 over 14 and then last one is a z 3 over 2 and then it's a 1.5 as a decimal as a z so if you plug this uh, x, y, z into the any of the equation, you should be able to get this d constant in this case. In order to go back, you can click equal again. And here, you can make the changes to the equation in case you key in you know, incorrectly. I want to make the changes to any of the number in the equation. So when you're done, what you need to do is that you go back to the calculation mode. Just press more, one as a computation. Press 1 here, you're back to the uh, computation mode. Thank you for watching. I have uh, posted the quick tips uh, in the description. Feel free to comment and share. Remember to check out my other calculator tutorial. Have fun learning and applying.